Am I? I was coming back from Collinwood. But this is a path to the old house. Now wait a minute. That's where the werewolf is always hanging out. And this is a part of Widow's Hill, but where am I? I don't recognize any of this forest. Hmm. Is this the Leviathan people's corn? Hmm. Where, where am I? Scarsdale, New York. Hmm. House. This isn't the old house, though. Why, this looks like Joan Bennett's house. Maybe we can talk to Joan Bennett. Maybe if we go up to the door and knock, she'll let us talk to her. Come on, let's go. Hello, and welcome to the Dark Shadows Festival. We are celebrating the 20th anniversary this year of Dark Shadows, and we are at the home, privileged to be at the home, of Hollywood legend Joan Bennett, who, as we all know, for five years portrayed Elizabeth Collins Stoddard and various other characters. Thank you for allowing us to come to your home. Well, it's my pleasure to see you. Uh, looking back over the last 20 years since Dark Shadows began, mm -hmm. are you surprised at all the attention that it's still receiving to this day? I think it's amazing, and it certainly must be very satisfying to the producer to know that what he figured out to do 20 years ago is still popular now. Are you pleased to have been a part of it? Oh, indeed. Indeed. Does it surprise you about the conventions today and that, that there are just so many newer generation fans popping up all over the country? It does surprise me, yes. And I, I think it's great. Being a successful tele uh, theatrical actress trained in the theater, mm -hmm. in movies, mm -hmm. and you did do TV prior to that, a small amount. Was it difficult for you to make the transition? Well, it was a little tiring at first because I wasn't in the habit. Sometimes we'd get a whole week of scripts before we started, so we had a chance over the weekend to learn our lines. But then sometimes the writers had difficulty or the producer didn't like the way something was done and wanted to change it. So we'd only have overnight to learn our lines for the next day, which is rather difficult and tiring. <laughs> was it something you were looking forward to, or was it something you approached with a bit of apprehension? I approached it with a bit of apprehension because I wasn't sure, and certainly I didn't know it was going to be the great success it was and go on for five years. <laughs> well, it was not your typical soap opera either. It was, it was no. very uh, motivated towards special effects and things. Did that make it more difficult? the actors? I think more than the ordinary soap opera would, which of course, as you say, was not a soap opera in, in that sense. It was, uh, it was different. Are you aware today that there are many Dark Shadows fans that are becoming fans of Joan Bennett uh, because of the show, because they're tuning into you? There's a whole new generation of younger fans out there. Does that surprise you, and are you aware of it? Yes, it does surprise me very much, and I really wasn't aware of it until you mentioned it. I mean, there are so many of your old films that are popping up now, and where teenagers and, and younger fans 
of Dark Shadows will tune in and say, hey, Joan Bennett was on Dark Shadows, and I think we'll tune this in, and, and they're becoming fans of your old films all over again. Well, I do get a great deal of fan mail from uh, people who are looking at, at films now, and very young people, too. And uh, I, I'm, I don't think I attributed it, actually, to Dark Shadows. I just thought they were looking at films that were on. Well, there are so many fans out there that are uh, becoming fans of yours without ever watching Dark Shadows. But then I think there's also that large group that, like I said earlier, um, are big fans of Dark Shadows and want to tune in and see what your roles were like before the show. Well, every once in a while, because I do look at the television news, I see Dark Shadows on television. It's playing in many, many stations across the United States now, and well, it's, playing it's playing in some form. You get it in New York here? Oh, yes. Did your children or grandchildren watch Dark Shadows at the time, and have they seen it since it's been I don't think my grandchildren have. I know my children have. Are they fans of the show? Yes. <laughs> well, they're their mother's fans. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel that the show was canceled, and uh, do you feel that, you, that the writing was on the wall, that you saw the cancellation coming? I think that it was a very expensive show to do. And I think also it had been on a long time. I don't know because I don't watch that much of television, of, of what do you call it? soap operas, that. That's okay. David! Hello? Would you mind not hammering? I'm going to help my lady lay the path, but I don't know. Well, we'll only be a few minutes. <laughs> All right, where were we? Uh, you were talking about the cancellation of the show. Oh. All right. I, uh, I, I think that it was very expensive to do, and I think that there were other shows that were coming on that might have interfered with the, the popularity of Dark Shadows, and that with the expense, I think that Dan Curtis decided not to continue. A hypothetical question. Do you feel that if Dark Shadows had continued for any length of, of years, do you feel, number one, that you would have stayed with the show, or do you feel that maybe you would have left the show or asked them to cut down your workload? I think I would have asked them to cut down my workload. I, I, I can't imagine really leaving it, because I've become so used to doing it, and we were all friends, and the actors, and we enjoyed each other, and I... I don't think I would have left it now, but I would have asked to have my work cut down. There was a point in the show, uh, about two years into the show, when they introduced Jonathan Frid, when you did ask to be limited from, say, five shows a week to three or four, mm -hmm. or two, maybe. Mm -hmm. Did you ever watch any of the shows when they originally ran, or have you ever tuned in recently as syndication to watch the old shows? No, I haven't watched the old shows. You've never? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Bumblebee. <laughs> Uh, have you ever, even when it was on, did you ever tune in at all to see it? Yes, once in a while I did, not all the time. They, you weren't allowed to see in the studio, though, no. after they filmed it. Oh. Uh, do you have any personal remembrances of Alexandra? She was a sweet, dear girl, and I liked her very, very much. And so pretty she was, too. And we were very good friends. You were at her uh, wedding, yes. right? And when her, her first child was born? Yes. You went to the hospital to see them. Have you seen Alexandra? No, no, I haven't, and I want to get in touch with her. Funnily enough, I came across an address the other day in my book, and I was wondering if it was still the same address I had before. I mean, if she still had the same address that I have now, or if she's moved. Well, we hope wherever Alexandra is that she's watching this I and hope so. maybe she'll come Get in and touch with me <laughs> and see us and I hope you'll join us again this year in Newark, New Jersey uh, for the 20th anniversary I hope to convention uh, in closing do you have any special memories or maybe a message you'd like to give to the fans in Dallas I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you today and I hope you're all having a wonderful time and I I hope you're enjoying watching Dark Shadows as much as I did doing it. I have a secret I'd like to share with my Dark Shadows fans.
Speaking as Elizabeth, indeed, Victoria Winters was my daughter. <laughs>